Now we'll get into the third play for the O-line is always counter. Okay, so we're going to go spread right off, fly, Q counter left. So we're going to have our running back still fake like he's leading out on our power flow, okay, or power read. And then we're going to send guard, and we call counter, it's guard, and it's tight end. We'll call Mustang, which we're putting in a lot more, is GT. Okay, so this is guard, guard, tight end, counter um, off of the jet uh, fake. So again, our A knows now that he is the fly guy with the opportunity to where he's going to put the ball out. But again, don't get it into your belly. You're just there in his illusion for it. So it's spread left off, fly, cue, counter right. Guards pulling that way. So is the tight end. Okay. Running backs acting like it's power read out this way. So let it play. Okay. And it hits right in the A-gap. Guard gets the kick. Tight end actually gets inside number as well. We get about a 10-yard gain right up the middle. End zone copy. All right, so tackles down to the backside linebacker. Defensive end is going to get kicked by the guard. Okay, tight end would like his head inside right there, but he's getting the kick. And then there's what we've talked about, the A-gap. And again, don't follow. When we, we teach guys power and counter, don't follow your pullers. Follow the rules of A-gap, B-gap, C-gap. Okay, with, with our counter play, now we'll get back to the running back. So we've got spread right off, fly, counter left. Okay, so now we just want the running back to carry the football again. 